My friend called and invited me to Bomberg, Germany. We decided to get there early to explore the city, but we needed to figure out some things to do. So, I went to Facebook and said, Help! I'm filming in Bomberg, Germany today, and I've never been there. For anyone that has, what would you like me to highlight in the city for the next vlog? Hmm. Here's what they told me to do. So first of all, the drive down there was gorgeous. If you ever need a reminder of how beautiful and green Germany is, just get in your car and look around. Made it to Bamberg. I love going to new cities, especially here in Germany. Uh, there's so many around me. So I'm meeting up with some friends and I got a lot of recommendations on things to do. So I'm gonna try to hit all of them. Let's go. Welcome to Bamberg. First impression of this city, awesome. Okay, it's 12 o'clock, we're all here, I'm starving, and I was recommended to go to this historic smoke beer brewery. This place has been around since the 1400s, it's family ran, and to keep up with old tradition, they still tap their beer from the wooden barrels. On the menu, you'll notice items such as the Bomberger onion, which is a piece of pork wrapped in onion and bacon sitting in smoked beer sauce. A little intimidating at first, but then it came with bacon, so... Yummy! I got the traditional pork leg with sauerkraut and this delicious ball of potato. And of course, we washed that down with smoked beer, which you can also buy to go as you're exploring the city. I was recommended to check out Little Venice, which is basically a mixture of Northern Italy and Germany, where you'll find medieval half-timbered houses, cute little shops, and you can even get a romantic gondola boat ride, just like in Venice, Italy. Oh, I also learned about this huge annual festival called the Bomberger Sandkurva. Anyway, when there's no global pandemic, hundreds of thousands of people show up to celebrate in Little Venice, and they even hold jousting competitions on the Regnitz River. Pretty cool. You can't miss the old rat house, which sits on an artificial island and is probably one of the coolest half-timbered architecture pieces in the city. Is this door crooked or is it just me? She has somewhere to take us. Uh, we are going to the underground tunnels, the catacombs in Bomberg. Bomberg, Germany. Underground catacombs. Here we come. Let go. So we're going to the catacombs now. So, upon further review, the caves we entered are called decatacomen by locals, but don't actually have bones or skeletons in them. The soft rock sand dug out thousands of years ago helped pay for many of the buildings we see today in Bomberg. Germans manufactured spark plugs and other electronic parts down here for companies like Bosch. The seven and a half mile tunnels have been used for shelter, massive storage of beer barrels, and blocks of ice that were dropped through the holes in the ceiling. After the caves, my last recommendation was to go to the very top of Bomberg to see the Altenburg Castle.
So I had a great day in Bomberg today, um, and then I had a recommendation to go up to this castle up at the top of the hill of Bomberg, like right outside the city. But then as I was coming down the hill, I didn't even realize the view. I think I found the best view of Bomberg right here. Check this out. 